They stream towards the surf like a line of aquatic ants. But if they knew what I knew, well, they might take up skateboarding instead. For a great white shark, this would be the underwater equivalent of bobbing for apples. Good thing there are no sharks underneath them then, right? They're big. Normally, the only dorsal fins surfers Courtney Hemrick and Joey Truckness see around here belong to dolphins. But then they heard a rumor. Great whites had been spotted right off their beach. So they paddled out to see for themselves. Holy <laughs> the shock, Truckness says, it was like seeing a dinosaur. You're tripping out because there's these giant creatures under you that, that you're definitely not at the top of the food chain anymore. So what are the sharks doing here? The shark lab at Cal State is trying to find out using robots. These robots are programmed to follow the sharks to get a 3D picture of their world and find out how they interact with swimmers. Turns out these sharks at Seal Beach are juveniles. This year, the young sharks seem to have stuck around to feed on stingrays, probably because of warm water caused by El Nino. Seeing all these babies in our beaches, uh, for me, is really exciting. It's a sign that we've done things better in the ocean to bring these populations back. But what happens when these six-foot babies grow out of eating stingrays? That's why an hour south of LA, Seal Beach's marine safety chief is wearing a towel over his head. I know it's goofy, but cuts all the glare so I can see the screen. When sharks started appearing off his beach, Bailey had an idea. Instead of sending out lifeguards on jet skis to watch for them, why not use a drone? Right underneath it, there's a shark. That was like 10 seconds and you got a shark. Right. In four minutes, we see four sharks. Two weeks ago, we saw 15 individual white sharks in this area. And look how close they are to the surf and to shore. Bailey will keep an eye on them, make sure they don't show any aggressive behavior. It's when they get bigger, where they might confuse a surfer or a swimmer for a seal, that that's where we become real concerned. Courtney and Joey have decided there'll be no sequel to their video. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. If you're one of those bobbing apples, maybe you're better off not knowing. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Seal Beach, California.